beautiful babes and welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually a really fun one i've honestly been waiting to post this video for a really really long time literally since october the main point of this video is to showcase a vlog it's basically like an october recap of my weekends in houston it was originally supposed to be like a vlog showcasing those three weekends but the way the way i'm set up i'm too nervous to film in front of people if you tell me to film in front of random people no problem because in my head i'll never see these people again like i don't know who these people are i don't care for them i'll never see them again you know what i mean but when it comes to filming in front of people i know friends family people that i know like see me on social media i get nervous i get shy i don't know but long story short the video is just straight montage montages i barely talked in it like i was just so nervous around my friends and things like that but it's still vibes i didn't want to like keep that away from you guys like i still wanted to show y'all the video i just felt like it would have been so selfish to not post the video and keep it all to myself so yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys the video it's almost 20 minutes long like you're gonna enjoy it i promise you but basically i just felt like it would have been so wrong of me to be as inconsistent as i've been and not say anything about it act like it's nothing like it's completely irrelevant when I know it's not irrelevant in my head which I feel like is the reality in my head I've lost you guys or some of my subscribers trust I know I've been saying like oh I'm gonna be consistent I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and like it just turns out not to be the way I intended for it to be but that's just how the cookie crumbled like I just ended up being super inconsistent and of course I'm going to tell you guys my reasons why that's basically the whole point of me talking to you right now and also I feel like we haven't chatted up in a minute like usually i don't really talk about like my personal life i'll talk to you guys about beauty makeup and hair and all that type of stuff but i've never actually really sat down or at least i don't think i've sat down and like talked to you about what's going on in my life i'm trying to turn a new leaf on my youtube channel of going from inconsistent for a couple of months to like really consistent and posting every week i'm not the type to post twice a week three times you'll probably never see that from me i'm so sorry i'm more of a quality over quantity type of person and it shows it shows in my viewership it shows in the impact of my videos it shows i will never ever sacrifice quality for quantity so that's just the way it's gonna be on my channel basically i want to chat it up with y'all kind of give y'all like a let's catch up type of thing i don't want to say life update because i feel like life update is always so dramatic to me saying a life update to you right now is hella dramatic first of all ain't shit changed okay different day same stuff not much really changed in my life like i didn't get a divorce i'm not heartbroken my dog didn't die so you know a lot hasn't changed but a lot has changed at the same time but yeah with the whole mindset change and just like just a lot going on in my personal life it has shown in my productivity which then reflects my consistency on youtube and there was a period in time where i didn't post for 40 days you guys 40 days and 40 nights 42 days to be exact that's just not what i want for my channel like 40 40 days 40 days is od i know it's gonna seem like i'm not trying behind the scenes i'm not giving it my all behind the scenes but i promise y'all i've been planning videos i've been executing videos and then i'll like want to edit them but something else will come in the way <sighs> I feel like I'm rambling right now but this is just how like my thought process is right now I want to try as best as possible to just kind of fill you guys in a little bit not you know make it seem like I just haven't given a crap about my channel to start I just want to say that if there's one thing I have learned in 2021 is that sis I have been burnt out so many times the way I never intended to be burnt out I try to be as like on my stuff as possible with like planning and all that type of stuff since July I've been trying to do enjoyment and work and school my body has flunked out on me and as you guys know a lot of my weekends especially since july have been spent in houston so imagine constantly going from san antonio to houston my weekdays will be in san antonio then my weekends are in houston and i'm driving first you have to consider the fact that i have to mentally prepare to make the three hour drive then i'm making the drive then when i get there i'm puffed out i'm tired i want to chill but then it's go 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 this scene this scene this motive this event then i have to mentally prepare again to make the drive back to san antonio most times i'll spend an extra day in houston just because i need to chill it's been a long weekend child when i do make that trip back to san antonio it's already tuesday and by friday again i have to repeat and go back to houston like it's a lot it took a toll on my body and it's not like i was doing this every single weekend but there were weekends especially october which y'all will be seeing in this vlog where it was back to back between a friend's birthday or a really big 
weekend or my birthday for example which was two consecutive weekends between all of that girl my body broke down at that point i entered recovery mode <laughs> Recovery. You also have to remember that I don't have two of everything. I'm having to repack and pack again and pack again and repack. Most times I wouldn't even unpack my suitcase because I'm like, I'm about to go back there in about four days. What's the need to unpack? So I'll probably just take like the clothes that I've already worn, take it out of the suitcase, get some new clothes, put it in the suitcase. And my everyday products, face wash and toothpaste is going in and out of my suitcase every single day. Just imagine living out of your suitcase between the months of July and October. It was a hot mess. It just reflected on my productivity. It reflected on my mindset. It reflected on the state of my room. Right now I'm going through a room transformation-ish type thing. It's really minor, but I mean, I also feel like it was really mandatory because my room just went from me really liking it to me really hating it because I never kept up with it. I was never really here to begin with. And then on top of that, I couldn't really buy groceries because if I get groceries and I go to Houston this weekend, I'm not gonna have time to eat the groceries. So my fridge was empty. Like that constant moving back and forth, it affected my productivity, my school life, my work life, my eating habits, my sleeping habits, my um almost like cleanliness. Like I barely clean clean my room because I was barely in my room and the times that I am in my room I got things to do my room was a mess and my life was a mess long story short yeah like it took a toll on me y'all like it just it's like I was just a hot mess and it reflected in the way I treated the people around me like I just don't want to talk to anybody I just want to stay to myself I just don't want to call anybody text anybody all this type of stuff it's just, it was just horrible and then on top of that chow I am taking seven freaking classes that's 21 credits that's a lot of credits okay but I've done it before I did it my freshman year two semesters in a row but this year was just different because like like I said I was going out a lot <laughs> I was going out every single weekend. I'm doing drives every other weekend. The reason why I am taking seven classes is because I just feel like one, I'm trying to knock these classes out of the park. I'm trying to get them out of the way. And two, I kind of wanted to alleviate my next semester. I just want to be able to focus on other things other than school. Like school is cool and everything, but I'm over it. I'm tired. I want to rest. I want to break. I want to be in my Birkin so bad. Like, I want to be in my duffel so bad. I want to be in my bag, okay? So this was my stressful semester. I can admit to that, and you guys can see that through my consistency. So I'm taking seven classes. I'm trying to be consistent with YouTube. And then on top of that, I'm getting brand deals. I thank God so much because this is definitely one of the things that was on my vision board. And I'm so happy that I, like, I tackled that. Like, I was able to achieve that. But the downside of that is that with trying to tackle other aspects of my life I now have another thing to tackle and it's like if you have a brand deal set out for a certain date you gotta meet it no matter what and sometimes I will miss that date like I'm not gonna lie to you but even when I feel like I'm not ready to post it's like I have to post so what I'm posting most times is not things that I'm like a hundred percent proud of what I'm trying to say is that as I'm not really ready to be consistent I still have these brand deals that I have that have to go in there that were supposed to be scattered between videos that I'm posting that are non-sponsored and then those but because I was not posting it seemed like all I was posting was sponsored content and I hate I hate, ooh, I hate that so much I hate the way it looked and speaking of videos like I had ideas and there was one idea in particular that I want to talk to you guys about like very very briefly because I know I've talked enough already but there is a video it is a basically it's a video where I'll be reacting to to you guys's hairstylers horror story times or lash tech makeup artist horror story times but I didn't get as many responses as I thought I was. So I was like, okay, is it because I made it on a different Instagram? Because basically the way I had you guys respond was making a new Instagram that was for like Q and A's. I did that because most times with story times, you have like a screenshot that you want to send, you know, just receipts or whatever that you'd want for me to share and, you know, obviously blur out certain things. So I was like, okay, maybe this will be the best route to go through. But I don't know if that affected how many people shared because now it's like, okay, Okay, well you're not really doing it anonymously anymore i'm still gonna see who is sending what first i'm gonna ask two questions one is it a video you guys are interested in would you like for me to share your hairstylist horror stories if y'all are not interested in that then we're just not gonna do it but if you guys are interested in that then the second question is what is the best way to ask 
for your responses and i would prefer for it to be anonymous because i just feel like one i'd get more responses from that and two you guys would feel more comfortable sharing the stories yeah i just wanted to throw that in there because i was like mm. and that was just another example where it's like okay well i have a video i want to film and post in the meantime of me getting other videos ready but yeah i didn't get as many responses so i just put that one in the back burner for now and if you guys tell me in the comments that you're down to see it and you want to share it you want to share how to share it anonymously and do that down below but also let me know down below if you don't want it like please because right now i'm just in between like should i just toss the whole idea you know so let me know down below but i'm not playing with you guys i literally entered recovery mode after october yeah ever since then a lot has changed what i am not the same person that's dramatic but a lot has changed like mindset wise i've really gotten back on my disciplinary skills because discipline i feel is a skill i've been more disciplined with myself i'm still working on it i've changed up my room i love my room now i feel so comfortable in it i feel so happy in it i feel Good. and it's so funny because like this break this inconsistency on on youtube like it was so necessary because the change in dynamic it's been it's been so good it's been immaculate and i just really love the fact that with breaks whether it's intended or unintended most times you come back more determined with a lighter shoulder just ready to tackle everyday challenges with that being said i've come back with better quality hello i've picked up on new editing skills i was still doing things behind the scenes to make sure that whenever i do come back to youtube consistently we don't play about the quality over here and y'all know that and yeah i'm just i just love that um even though i disappointed myself a lot i'm still really proud of myself i'm also happy that i ain't even gonna say that child because that's so yeah those are mainly the things that i feel like got in the way of my productivity those are just a few things that i want to share keep you guys up to date and not to really leave you hanging because i just feel like if i started just posting anyhow anyhow like it would have been like is she not gonna address the elephant in the room so yeah i felt like it was really necessary i'm just not ever gonna leave you guys hanging like that it's not fair there's just always things that kind of get in the way of my productivity like for example this video itself believe it or not this is my second time filming it first time i filmed it was literally two days before thanksgiving i ended up going to houston on thanksgiving day and i'm trying to pass time in the car and i'm like okay cool let me just edit the video and i'm editing it and the video i recorded was in slow-mo and it had no sound because of that i couldn't even stay in houston but like the next morning i literally went right back or i came right back to san antonio to film this video y'all i literally had a mental breakdown because it's like and, and why I say that is to say that like, I'm just so proud of like how I most times don't let things affect me. And a lot of things that just don't bother me. I would much rather shut up, redo it, than to sit in my bed and cry for days and days and days. So I'm proud of myself for that, for just always getting back up. But yeah, I'm in a much better place. And right now I'm just gonna be in the process of regaining your trust and getting back on my feet. But yeah, as I told you guys, I spent a lot of time in Houston these past couple of months. So believe me when I say my closet has been ran through. I've worn up every single thing I can think of in my closet. And I just feel like I want a few more pieces. I've been doing a lot of shopping, trying to revamp my closet a little bit some of the pieces you guys will definitely be seeing later on this month but first i want to show you guys the pieces that i got from old poly because y'all these are so perfect for the holiday time especially and i just love the way a lot of their pieces fit on me top tier quality and the colors on my skin so kissable these pieces they're all from their fall collection by the way and i want y'all to see it but first, I just want to show you guys this first dress that I got. It is this beautiful brown dress. It has like this full corset detailing going on and then it ruches on the side. And I just love this so much. I also really love the fact that the slit, it's high, but it's not too high to where I feel like everything is going to be busting out. And I also am really pleased with the fact that it's holding me up, you guys. Like it's actually holding me up in the proper places. It looks good, you know what I mean? Now let's talk about this next little outfit. Besides my bloating, I really love the fit of this dress. Like I love that it's so figure hugging. I'm also really pleased with the quality of this material. It's definitely sturdy and has structure in all the right places, especially in this cleavage area. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has like its own cup. 
if that makes sense. I'm also obsessed with the color of it. Like this burgundy is so succulent on my skin. So succulent on my skin. Imagine this with some really nice heels, maybe like a really tiny like clutch bag. Like this would be so cute and so flattering. Let's move it to the next one. So this next piece in this haul is definitely one that is simple yet still making a statement. One thing I really, really love about this dress is the fact that right here it just has like this um, pleated. I think this is pleated, right? It just adds to the illusion of giving you, you know, some shade. And for some reason, it just makes this area seem a little bit smaller than what it is. I love the neckline or the bust area of this dress. You can tell whoever designed this dress knew what details to add in certain areas to make the dress kind of stand out a little bit more. Because without these extra little details and stuff, this dress would look very plain and very simple. But yeah, nonetheless, I love this color on my skin. And I think this is the second item that I have of this color. Okay, so for whatever reason, the mic on my camera went completely haywire on me so i'll talk to y'all about these next few pieces through a voiceover but this is the second brown piece that i have and you can just tell how much i love this color on my skin like brown on brown will forever like literally forever be that girl this is their kiss me more not waist dress and it has this entire midriff cut out that gives the dress an illusion that it's a two-piece and i think on its own this dress looks so good but i can't wait to see it paired up with like accessories and purses and you know which shoe i'm wearing but let's move on to the next one for this next dress y'all have seen this dress already but i couldn't resist getting it in another color like how lovely is this most times i do tend to shy away from this exact color but i think with the style of this dress it's actually really cute and this is their cocktail at eight dress and again it has this cleavage draping thing that i am literally so obsessed with and i'm actually really happy that i have this style in two colors like definitely definitely worth it and the quality kissable literally kissable the last two pieces i have are tops and i'm back again with this color <laughs> you can literally never go around with brown on brown action like like seriously am i lying though but this is their beloved curved bustier top and this actually has a lot more structure than i even thought it would have i thought it was going to be like a bit more flimsy not too flimsy but you know not that much structure but it's actually the farthest thing from that this top is definitely worth the cop and it actually goes well with this leather black pants that i have it paired up with the next and last piece is this white or ivory number definitely a little different from my current style or taste but it was actually worth the try this is their breathless off the shoulder top in the color ivory ivory and satin just go so well together like i'm so obsessed with this it's almost giving very much angelic and the double straps with one of the straps like falling off so effortlessly just adds to the angelic feel you feel me but yeah i'm actually in love with this top and i'm in love with all the pieces that i got from old poly I know y'all have definitely heard of Old Polly, but y'all just had to hear from me. I really do wish I didn't get all sag material. It's not my favorite fabric, but it worked pretty well in this haul. But with that being said, I told y'all over and over again that I spent so much time in Houston and I originally planned for it to be a whole vlog, a weekend's vlog, but I think you guys would really, really love that segment of this video. Like I put so much work into it. It's not perfect. If I wanted to, I would spend more time on it, but y'all, I'm so obsessed. Like I can't wait to rewatch that video over and over and over again i just always have such a good time in houston with my friends my girls it's always such a good time and i'm happy that i can show it to you guys and like y'all can be a part of like my little weekends i love editing when i go out because one i'm always surrounded by people i love so it's like i'm not really editing for youtube i'm editing for myself and my friends to be able to like watch back and all that type of stuff with that being said grab your popcorn grab a glass of wine a couple of shots if you want to because girl i took a few too many I I took a lot of <laughs> I took a lot of shots in this vlog. But yeah, enjoy this segment of the video. Watch it as many times as you want to. And yeah, enjoy. I talk about it a lot, but I stay in San Antonio for school, but I'm from Houston. 
so a lot of the things that I do a lot of my friends are in Houston so I'm always making like drives back to back to Houston especially with like this summer you know everybody was outside this whole month is just a bunch of stuff going on but long story short we're in Houston for every weekend in October except for the last weekend yesterday was Ivy's 21st birthday party today a month after my birthday mind you my birthday my actual birthday was September 3rd so a whole month later I'm actually taking birthday pictures I'm going to get my makeup done after my makeup then I have the photo shoot tomorrow ooh, not the police. tomorrow I was actually supposed to be going to the Oma Lake concert with Tony Tony for watching us I'm currently mad at you because we're supposed to be going together but um yeah she has things to do I think yeah, either way, this weekend is jam-packed, and then the other weekends, I have a bunch of things to do. I'm getting my hair braided in this vlog. I'm gonna be getting my nails done. The Wizkid concert is next weekend. I'm doing a lot, y'all. Like, I'm so excited. I'm gonna have so much fun. I'm so tired of the drives to Houston. I can't wait to finally be back in my city. Just in a really chill environment, a really comfortable environment. I see myself in a, I see myself in a high rise. Let's just say that. And I'm gonna get myself there. Long story short, this weekend is a bunch of vibes, a bunch of fun, a bunch of you chilling with me me chilling with you editing likes is gonna do some cool with this outro transition intro stuff so let's get to it let's have fun and let me go to this makeup appointment with you guys
up to all the ladies on the east side, west side, Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, H-Town, baby. Dash is digi, the schedule busy, my head in a hoodie, my shorty a goody, my cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie, life is amazing, it is what it should be, been here for ten but I feel like a rookie, I tell her look up cause it's snowing in tussies, booked for three years man you can't even book me, it's me and little baby that going crazy, Weezy produced it and Weezy have made me and she held it down so she got him a say. Selfish, right? I don't know how, like, yeah, how do we get the pictures? Do we take it to, like, I think so. So we have 27 shots. After each picture, you have to turn this all the way. We got a camera. What is this? A Fuji film. My lashes are high key giving me a little bit of wahala. So. All right. Should I take it off now? I don't know how to work with wigs, you guys. Now, imagine if we fumble. We can't fumble. That's so much better. Y'all, she. Mm -hmm. We didn't even do much. But, baby, <laughs> this is something, baby. But. Time down for five. Four. Come on, get your. I definitely just use that to wipe out. I know Harry said. Oh, shit. So, you forgot about the vlog. I'm sorry. Why are you so nervous once it starts recording? Hey vlog. Hey y'all. Uh, Lexa's driving. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so right now it's really giving montage and vibes. And that's not what we're going for. We're actually trying to talk to y'all. You know what I mean? So right now we're in Houston. We got ready. We got cute. We actually have to tell y'all how we basically planned a whole karaoke night on our way to Houston. I feel like it's about, no, we know it's about to be so fun, but it's a chill weekend. Like, we can't, we don't even we, we can't hype it up. We can't hype it up. Like, we don't care. We don't care. Like, if it happens, it happens. But the first thing we're gonna do is yeah. what? Drink, drink. Drink. It's okay. Drink. So yeah, tonight, tonight's karaoke night. So you know, real chill, real cute. We're doing karaoke, we're singing, throwbacks, you know, Beyonce, Fantasia, uh, Asia, all of that. You know what I mean? Even though I don't know the lyrics, but <laughs> I'll be singing. You know what I mean? So yeah, like from now on, I'm not gonna lie. This whole weekend vibes like with kid. No, with tomorrow day party tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Where's kid the day after? It's vibes, like vibes. enjoyment, you know what I mean? So yeah, we're gonna see you guys. Ooh, the lighting looks good. We're gonna see you guys when we get to the karaoke, which is literally down the street. We're about to be there in like two minutes. Bye, y'all. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I just keep you up in this house, you know what it is. Yeah. 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 You like a groupie, I just want the water, want the flex free daughter. I can't do this data, then retire bubble, take the pain away. I've been stressed out daily, roll a paper blade. How much trying to pay me? I know I made mistakes. I just saw my L's and come back in and made you wait. Hey, hey.
It's the very next day and we're going to a day party. Are you excited? I'm excited. A bit nervous. A bit nervous, you know. She yeah. looks good though. She Thank you. Really good. Love. Steph looks good too. Steph oh. is over there. Hi guys. We're a bit excited, but you know, chill things. Like, it's not that deep. Mm -hmm.
those were my weekends in Houston. Ah, uh, I had a blast. I had such a great time. Like, I wish I could do that over and over again without the stress of driving back and forth. Yeah, I don't think y'all understand. I'm counting down the days until I'm back in Houston. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys can forgive me for my inconsistency. And I hope as a content creator, as a, you know, small little YouTuber, I hope that I can be more consistent on my channel and continue making myself proud, continue making you guys proud. I typically don't talk this much. Maybe I do, but... <laughs> yeah enough chit chat i will see you guys in my next video and that's a promise i will see you guys in my next video which will be very very soon